Hello, it's Father Samuel Hakim in St. Louis, Missouri, with a word of hope for Monday of the seventh and final week of the Easter season. Well, we find ourselves here in this final week between the great solemnities of the Ascension of our Lord and Pentecost. We've celebrated the Lord's Ascension into Heaven, His seated at the right hand. We look forward to His coming again. And now we turn our attention to the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Our prayers for Mass and our readings focus on this coming. In fact, many times this week we will pray the words, Come, Holy Spirit. But what does it mean to have received the Holy Spirit? What does it mean for the Spirit to be dwelling within us? It's a question asked in our first reading today from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul arrives in Ephesus to find believers there, but there seems to be something off. And he asks them, did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. So he has them baptized once again after teaching them about this Holy Spirit. He lays his hands upon them, and indeed they do receive that Holy Spirit. Well, like I said, sometimes in our lives we can sort of go through life acting as if there is no Holy Spirit. What does it mean to have this Spirit dwelling within our souls? Those of us who have been baptized have received that Spirit. We've been sealed with the gifts of the Holy Spirit at our confirmation. It is through that Spirit that all good things come to us. Yet, are we aware of this fact? Do we celebrate it? Do we pray about it? Well, first, we must learn about it. The great theologians of our church, namely St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas, give two proper names, if you will, to the Holy Spirit. Those names are gift and love. They say that gift is a proper, a fitting name for the Holy Spirit because the Spirit is freely given to us. Like I said, received at our baptism, the indwelling of the Holy Spirit begins there as our life of grace begins. It's not because of what we've done that we've received the Holy Spirit. There's no way in which we merit this relationship with God. It's rather because of who we are, namely beloved children of God. This is God's free gift to us, hence that name. And along with the indwelling of the Holy Spirit comes all good things in our lives. It is that life of grace welling within us. The sevenfold gifts of piety, fortitude, fear of the Lord, wisdom, understanding, counsel, and knowledge. The virtues, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, all of these things which enable us to do good, which make us more than just human, which conform us to Christ. Yes, all of these good things poured out upon us, residing within our soul as pure and absolute gift. How incredible this mystery, how deep God's love for us, that he would give us his Holy Spirit, that we could be in relationship with this Spirit. So, gift, that first proper name. And what about love. Well, for that, tune in tomorrow. God bless.